So now that we have the website um, built out, so say you've do you've set all the colors, you've built out all your pages. Um, now we can go in and actually add some events to the to the site. So when you're logged in, you'll obviously see your dashboard. And what you can do is then on the left side, you'll see the events tab. And this is where you'll go to add um, new events. Um, so if we click into the events tab here. Um, you'll see all of the events that you have. It'll be published here. Um, right now there's no events, but once you have events here, it'll show up in your events dashboard. So to add a new event, you just click add new event. And the first thing they'll ask is to select an event type. So if it's a ticketed event, um, so things like if you're offering an experience or if you're offering maybe a one day event, um, you can have the ticketed event and these tickets can be free or they can be paid. Um, so it's good for things like you know classes, any one day event, any experiences, uh, workshops, things like that. Then there's RSVP events. So these aren't for tickets, they're mainly for um, events that require sort of like a wait list um, or for you to know okay who's coming how many people are coming things like that so for example for a music event we'd want that to be ticketed so we'll select ticketed event and give it the event name so we'll call it music event and then you need to set a date and time so this is the date and time of the event um, and you can click on the date section and give it a date in the future and you can give it a time as well optional but you can also give it an end time um, depending on what time it finishes at um, and then give it a time zone as well you can also ch choose to display the time zone um, on the website um, the other thing you can do is select the time as to be determined so if the date and time is yet to be announced or if, it, if it's yet to be confirmed you can still have the event displayed on the website and the display message will say time is TBD to be announced to be determined whatever it is next thing then is the location so if it's playing at an address or a venue um, what you can do is you can add an event or you can add the event address wherever that is and once you have the event it kind of fills it up for you so it shows the map as well um, but same thing with the time, if the event location isn't confirmed yet, you can just switch the, the location to, to be determined. You also have the option of having, uh, dis having it displayed as online, so if it's like a online webinar, if it's like a Zoom event, um, you can just set it to online, and you can, but then afterwards what you'd need to do then is, um, depending on how many people have booked, you would need to send them then the Zoom link or whatever online platform you use um, through your email um, or something like that. Um, but for physical location, you can just type in the address and it'll show up here. So once the basic is done, you just want to click create event and then you can move on and add more of the event details. So this is the event here um, and you can add a short description and this will show up um, sort of under, on the event pages. It's optional, um, but at least you have that. And then you want to give it an image as well, just to make it more sort of appealing and enticing to the user. So if you click on the plus, um, it'll open the choose an image and you can either choose images that you've already uploaded or you can upload your own media or you can pick media from Wix um, which is free so you can just type in the event or the image topic and you should be able to find one relative to what you're wanting to, to add it to so maybe we'll add it to this one I'll just click add to page and then you can give it a category as well, just to make it a bit more um, user friendly. And you've got the date and time here. And then at the bottom, you see you have an option for a recurring event. So this would be good, for example, workshop events that happen maybe once a week. Um, if we click on that, you can give it a start time. Um, so for example, the first day would be the Friday, the 23rd of September. And then you can add another date. So um, another date in the future um, and just set basically as as many um, dates as needed um, or if it's a single event um, then you can 
just have that single event but you can have it so that it lasts maybe a day or a week things like that um, and then you have your physical location um, as mentioned before so if it's an online um, you would need to connect it to a zoom um, or you can use uh, Wix Live. So Wix Live does have a few features, so you can manage everything from your dashboard. You can host up to three free live videos, but you can pay for more. Or you can connect it to your Zoom account and to generate meeting links. So you have those two options as well. Um, and then you can also set an event schedule. So this will show up to the user, and it'll basically tell the user maybe hourly or every two hours what's going to happen. So if you click Add Item, um, you can just type in eat, what the schedule is basically so for the music event maybe the opening act starts at 7 and finishes at 8.10 and you can give it more of a description, give it a place, things like that um, and then you can add another item uh, main event and uh, give it a start time, give it an end time and basically this will um, this will show up to the user, they will they be able to see what, exactly what's happening during the event um, and give it a bit more description as well, so it's up to you how you want to add that. And this is about the event, so this will be where you can add a bit more information about the event in general, so you want to make sure there's lots of important info on there and there's a lot of relevant information for users, so uh, for customers so that they can have more sort of incentive to book, they'll be more likely to book, things like that. Um, the next tab then you want to go into is tickets. Um, one second, so we'll save draft. So this is where you can create tickets to kind of sell your event. And they can be free and they can be paid. Um, with the events, if they're free, they'll be it'll, it'll be good for to kind of um, keep track of who's coming, how many people, any contact information, things like that. Um, so what you would do is then create tickets, and you can create different types of tickets. Um, so if the, if this is a paid event, you can set different types of tickets based on the seat. So if it's like a front row seat, you can have that priced at a different tick uh, at a different price point um, compared to a ticket that was that's maybe seated more at the back, things like that. Um, or you can, or if um, certain tickets have more features, so. Um, or if they book early, they get a discount, things like that. So you can have different ticket types um, based on what um, comes with the ticket and it'll allow you to kind of have a bit more control over um, how many people can buy a ticket and things like that. So um, I'll call this one free entry. So this is maybe for like free entry tickets and you can give it a um, description. So this ticket includes a seat here, um, things like that. And if it's a free one, you just want to click free. And then you want to set a quantity. So either you can set unlimited or you can set a limited number and you can set um, an actual number of how many tickets. So people count more than, if you set that as 25, then that means once this ticket has been booked 25 times, it, it becomes unavailable. And then you can add a ticket policy as well. Um, so this is where you add basically information um, about the event and things like that. Um, another thing you can do is optional is set a ticket sale period. So start and end ticket tip ticket sales at a specific date and time so if you click that it means people can only buy for that ticket for a certain amount of time within a certain amount of time um, and then they can hide the tickets when they're not on sale so it's up to you if you want to do that or if you're happy enough um, with people um, purchasing the ticket at any time that's also fine but then once you're done with that you just click save and you can see you've got a free entry ticket so we can do another ticket then and call it VIP ticket and um, this will be for a paid ticket people this will include uh, a better seat, free uh, food and drink things like that um, so you've got the fixed price and then at the bottom you can see the new section that called ticket price and the price of that then can be whatever you want so we can set that at 25 pound and you can select the currency as well um, and again, same thing as before, so unlimited number of tickets or a limited number of tickets. Um, and then the ticket fee, so you can choose who pays the fee. So you can either choose to pass the fee on to the buyer and it'll show like this, so ticket price £25, service, fees, service fee 63, p 63 pence, 
so the buyer in total pays um, pays the fee or you can click the absorb fee so the fee will be deduct deducted from the ticket price so the buyer will pay the normal price that you set and, and the price that they see but then the service fee will get paid from that so it's up to you how you want to manage the fee the ticket fee on that and then same thing again ticket policy um, all about the ticket event and then set a ticket sale period and then you just want to click save and that's it so that's all the ticket things um, you can decide if you want even more tickets ticket types things like that um, the next thing then is the registration so how can people register for your event if you click on that you can either do Wix registration page um, or if it's for a different web address you can just type in the, the web address here or guests don't need to register if you don't need people to register for the event um, they can do that and then after you publish the event then the registration status will be open that's fine um, so if people are registering for your event then you can register the form or you can customize the registration form so if you click on that um, you can decide how you want to collect the guest info so fill out one form per order or fill out one form per ticket in each order so if someone were to buy three tickets if you select this option then they only need to fill out the form once for one person but if they if you select this option and they buy three tickets then they would need to fill out a form for each ticket that they buy so it's up to you which one um, you want to go for but this is a preview of the form currently so first name last name email if you wanted to add maybe a phone number um, this phone number field as well and then different kind of fields so you can add a comments box so if they if you want to give them uh, a section where they can add um, their own comments or if you wanted to collect additional info so for example um, do you require um, assistance things like that um, what then people can what people can do then is um, add any information that they need and for each field they have the option of making this re info required so if I've marked this as required it means that they can't submit the film the form um, until they filled something in so it's up to you how you want to do that basically um, and then you have the button text so let's continue um, and that's fine so that's the form set up and you can decide basically what kind of information that you want to collect from them um, and then you have the registration me messages so these are the messages that users will see whenever tickets aren't on sale so if tickets aren't on sale then the text will read tickets are not on sale see other events but you can change the wording of that and if registration are closed the message is registration is closed see other events um, or you can just change the messaging on that the next one then is emails so this is more um, what kind of notifications can users receive about their event that they've booked for so by default the confirmation email is set already and you can't really change that so when someone uh, reg successfully registers for a ticket if they paid for a ticket they get an email knowing telling them that their um, registration has gone through and this is the content that they'll see so thanks for registering here are your tickets um, you can change the message here and the event details so that that'll be taken from the event detail section that we set up in the events part so you wouldn't be able to change that but you can link to the description and you can give them the option to create the calendar event and then other options that you have is you can set a reminder so you can set a reminder whenever the event is coming up and this will send an email to everyone who's registered that oh by the way the event is coming up in like three days one day one hour um, you can choose how long before the event you want to send a reminder email and you can change the content as well um, or if you don't want the reminder email at all you can just fully turn that off and any con cancellations so this is the cancellation email notification um, this is the content and you can decide if you want um, that selected or not if you cancel an event then this email will automatically get sent out you don't need to worry about emailing each guest individually so it'd be a, it'd be a good idea to kind of keep that um, and then with the orders so this will show you once the event is published and people have started registering and buying tickets all of the orders that show up will show up here so you have that on the back end as well 
and then the guest list will be here as soon as people are registered whether they're bought a ticket or it's a free ticket the guest list will be here so you'll be able to track and manage your guests easily um, so that's basically it once you've saved everything you can either save it as a draft or once you're ready to push it live you can save and publish and then that'll be live on your website and people can go in read about the event decide if they want to um, register for a ticket or not um, but yeah with Wix it's really flexible and it's all organized on the back end once it's all um, done then you can manage it yourselves really easily so yeah it's up to you how you want to uh, manage it but it's quite straightforward